good evening everyone welcome to durga soft online training welcome to durga soft online training so here uh, this course is okay myself k prakash babu having almost 15 years of experience as a trainer sir here the course title what we are going to discuss is data structures and algorithms i think you have seen already so data structures and algorithms but if you see data structures and algorithms compulsory we should choose any one programming language suppose consider i want to perform sorting operation sir theoretically how you can able to do sorting what are the different types of sorting techniques are there that we can find i mean with respect to examples or diagram we can able to explain but once if it come to the programming compulsory we have to choose any one programming language to demonstrate the behavior of this techniques so for that compulsory one language is required sir here i am going to implement this data structures and algorithms with java programming okay this is nothing but what we have sir batch number already we have started first batch which is going well okay so second batch also we have started and this is nothing but dsa with java sir batch 3 third batch this one okay so sir here at very first time in our durga soft we launched this batch that's why the duration of this course sir it will be around 2 to 3 months so minimum 2 months maximum 3 months because if it is already one or two batches completed means we can give guarantee for time but here i am not giving the guarantee but in between this 2 to 3 months we can able to wind up sir this is a december right so december january february by the end of february we will complete or maybe in the middle of the february also we can complete this batch and coming to the timings of this batch sir very very important please make a very clear clarity on this the timings is from 5 pm to 6 pm okay so technically the classes will start at 5 and it will end 6 or 6:15 like that but uh, sir demos alone demos only demos only demos will be there okay at uh, uh, 6 pm sir 6 pm to 7 pm only demos will be there once this week demos got completed from the coming monday onwards you have to join to the class at 5 o'clock already 5 o'clock 5 o'clock batch is there it is going well almost one week completed but just for add on purpose we have taken this okay this batch timings is from 5 pm to 6 pm sir what about fees for this batch as you know that at very first time we are introducing this the fees is rupees 399 sir to whom we need to contact if i want to get registered for this course sir you can contact 720 7212427 number or sir you can contact 9246 okay 9246 any one of this number you can contact or sir durga soft durga soft online training at gmail.com okay at gmail.com so for any any one of this mode you can use for communication purpose and in this class we are going to share running notes okay we are going to share running notes sir with the lifetime validity okay and uh, even this recorded videos also we are going to provide recorded videos also we will provide okay sir these videos these videos will be having 
only sir seven months access you can't download these videos just you can able to watch the videos this is nothing but what we have regarding this okay so i think you people got a very clear clarity about the scores and all these things okay uh, uh, some students are asking sir how many demo classes will be there maybe three or four demo classes will be there okay so maybe three or four demo classes you can expect okay sir this is nothing but what is introduction to our course and how we are going to deal with this can you please confirm uh, except syllabus and the content except that do you have any doubt in this like regarding batch or anything else do you have any doubts up to this what do you mean by running notes see running notes whatever i am typing is called as running notes so that running notes i am going to share via google drive okay so you can able to see here so already some uh, third batch running notes is there here okay uh, data structures and algorithms which batch 3 running notes so this folder you will get as it is this folder you will get as it is okay so here the complete information will be there and your file whatever now i am taking that the file also will be attached there okay just you can able to see and if anywhere in my program suppose if i am getting uh, some diagrammatic representations if i want to take i will take that image along with the file name and i will upload like this also you can able to get okay sometimes i need to explain the code by taking the diagrams those things you can expect as well okay so all these things you are going to receive in this folder maybe the people who are going to pay the fee immediately they will get this access so this is nothing but what is mean by running notes okay still if you are having any queries please let me know i will answer all your queries then we will go with the syllabus i am working so i can manage at 6 pm only uh, no sir this batch is uh, 5 to 6 o'clock only okay not for 6 to 7 okay just for add on batch we have taken this one sir and if you are okay then you can uh, watch the videos whatever classes i am taking you can watch that later okay uh, running notes and videos will be shared on daily basis yes running notes after completion of the class immediately you will get once if the class completed at 6 o'clock max by 65 or 610 i will upload sometimes in the class itself i will upload but videos it takes some time for processing so you will receive max by the end of the day or maybe next day you can keep one day back okay no issues with that after completing this course anyone can easily crack coding round sir coding round is different from data structures so i don't want to deviate coding round is different from data structures data structures means in the real time if you want to solve the problem in a very efficient manner we have so many approaches will be there if you take google map sir i want to travel from hyderabad to bangalore there are n number of ways will be there but which one you are going to select sir you are going to select depending on your requirement if you want to reach early then you are going to choose shortest path so that the shortest path is a data structure that we will implement in java yes of course it is a real time problem okay that concept is called as data structures so if you want to be perfect in the programming you need to go for logic based programming or programming languages like that we have to choose okay yeah logic based programming batch will be there maybe within 10 days we will announce that okay we will pay the amount in online payment yeah you can do that online payment please contact to this numbers those uh, uh, those people will guide you how much should java language know for dsa compulsory that is also very very important i forgot to add that point sir compulsory you should have a minimum knowledge in java minimum in the sense at least fundamentals all these things you should have so better 
if you know java then it is good for you to continue in this batch sir i am already 50 percent i know java means then you can manage okay so hope all your doubts got clarified right right so let's go to the syllabus sir okay let's go to the syllabus what we are going to discuss okay coding coding see <laughs> you must be very perfect in any one of the programming language and there is one course is there called logic based programming maybe after december 15th you can expect that course from our uh, already the classes are going on okay logic based programming there you can improve your coding skills okay Yeah, every data structure I'm going to explain with the help of Java only. Okay, let me talk about the syllabus, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I will discuss. Uh, it will be around 2.5 or 2000 like that. Let me take chapter number one. Sir, in these data structures and algorithms, the first chapter. Yeah, you can, you can continue. Sir, please wait. Put all your doubts ahead. First, let me talk about the syllabus. Okay. Sir, chapter number one. We are going to talk about introduction to DSA. That is what we are going to cover now. Okay. Like, what is the data structures and algorithms? Why we need to go for these data structures and algorithms? And what advantages are there? All these things we are going to cover in this. Then, sir, chapter number two. So here we are going to talk about uh, problem solving, sir. I have a problem. Is there? How you can able to solve that problem? For this, uh, we need to find out uh, first easiest way to solve the problem, or how you can able to divide that problem, and how you can able to manage the solutions. What steps you need to do like that? You have to see. See, for example. If I am explaining some 20 or 30 lines of code for my Java student or Python student, sir, initially they can understand small, small problems. When the problem is very big, they are unable to understand. So in such cases, what I will do? I will open a paint. Sir, this is the first step. This is the second step. This is the third step. Like if you see binary search, sir, first we have to read the array elements. Second, we have to sort the array elements. Third, you need to implement the algorithm for binary search. At last, you have to print the result. Like four to five steps separately, I will explain. But once if you combined these steps, we got the solution or not? Yes. Sir, when I am typing that code for binary search, some people may not get. In such cases, what will happen? I will convert that code into diagram, whatever I have shown for you. In the same way, so the way of explanation is becoming very complex, right? For easy problems, one way. For medium problems, one way. For hard problems, one more approach. Like that, in the real time also, if you are having any problem, how to solve that problem? We have various approaches will be there. Sometimes directly we can dive into the program and you can do. Sometimes we have to prepare algorithm and we have to solve that problem. So sometimes if the algorithm is very complex or if the problem statement is very complex, we need to prepare flowcharts for that and then we have to solve. Like that we have different problem solving approaches are there that we are going to discuss. Sir, so something like algorithms and flowcharts. Then, sir, chapter number three. How you can able to calculate time and space complexities? Okay, of algorithms. Sir, I have a problem is there. Like I want to arrange the data in ascending order. So if you see, we have n number of approaches will be there for doing that operation. 
but among those things which is the best okay among those approaches which is the best so how you can able to decide the algorithm which takes less time to execute and the algorithm which take less space on the memory that algorithm is best so that decision how you are taking based on this time and space complexities sir how to calculate this time and space complexities we will discuss later about that for that there is one procedure is there okay we have to follow that procedure to calculate the time and space complexities anyway i will cover that don't worry then sir chapter number 4 in the fourth chapter to calculate these time and space complexities we need some notations that we are going to discuss okay sir then some aspects of algorithms are there okay we are going to talk about that later so next in the next chapter some mathematical algorithms will be there okay so that part also we are going to discuss next and after that bit manipulations like uh, how you can able to work with uh, uh, and or all these things we are going to discuss next and after that there is one big concept is there called recursion so if you have a problem how you can able to divide that problem how you can able to combine the solution like recursive algorithms will be there that part also we are going to discuss then we are going to talk about arrays and strings so many programs we are going to talk here sir then in the next one we are going to talk about matrix related programs and in the next chapter we are going to talk about the searching and the sorting techniques so what are the different types of searching techniques are there and what are the different types of sorting techniques are there we are going to discuss so then maybe i think you heard about the stacks so how you can able to implement the stacks and after completion of this we have lists are there okay so uh, i think better we will go with the queues and there are different types of queues are there like priority queues blocking queues like that so many types are there we are going to discuss okay after this linked list okay single linked list double linked list like this we have so many things are there and after this we are going to talk about hashing okay we are going to talk about hashing so what are the collisions that we are going to get in this hashing so all these things and for this we required the concept of hash table how this hash table came into the picture how you can work with this okay and then about uh, sir tree trees okay so tree data structure and so in this we have binary trees are there binary trees and binary search trees also there that part also we are going to discuss next and after that so we will talk about the maps or some people may use the word called dictionaries so how you can able to work with the dictionaries we are going to see and we are going to talk about uh, graph okay how you can work with the graphs so just i told right shortest path all these things we can calculate and we have some greedy algorithms are there and we have some back tracking back tracking algorithms are there and we have some uh, dynamic dynamic programming is there so like we are going to discuss about uh, these chapters in detail and these are tentative chapters sir that means these chapters definitely i will cover maybe one or two new chapters we may add okay because so the syllabus is i have given at the top level that's all sir in detail i have not given that means under this uh, Uh, dynamic programming what problems we will get all these things i have not given just at the top level i have discussed that's all this is nothing but syllabus what we are going to cover in our complete course so now if you have any doubts on the syllabus you can feel free to ask your queries any doubts friends yes please 
if you have any doubts please let me know why to purchase this course see very simple nowadays uh, if you have an idea about the programming language it is alone is not good okay so uh, yeah someone is asking youtube is also having more videos on data structures yes you can go no problem but in the youtube within one or two minutes they are trying to explain the concept live class environment you are going to miss that is one of the reason and uh, so diagrammatic representations to be there because when they when they want to uh, explain something they will concentrate on two aspects one is how much short we can take the video at the same time what profit we are going to get based on that they will prepare by doing some animations all these things but of course it is good but up to certain level if you want to start from the basics so directly you can't see all these at a time in a course right you are going to get matrix programs separately so you are going to get uh, hashing related things rare videos will be there okay yeah yeah so we are going to see in detail one to one step by step we are going to discuss can you share demo session video yeah this this is the first demo what we are taking and within one hour this video will be uploaded on our youtube channel you can cross check okay non it background means compulsory you should have an idea about uh, programming language java then only you can able to get it which language is best for dsa kasari d already you have you are my student right so don't ask this question any language after completion why you are putting the question again and again put only one time i will answer okay so after completion of these demo classes from the next monday onwards the class will be at five o'clock not six okay that prayer intimation i am giving okay right now sir uh before no 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 offline is not there sir only on time sir before moving to the introduction is there any uh, certification for this course uh no 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 i think external certifications are not there but we will provide course completion certificate for this like java and python we don't have any certification courses but here you can uh, get the course completion after completion of this course yeah right sir i want to talk about some real time examples for data structures sir i am talking about real time examples for data structures where we are using these data structures okay i want to explain sir where we are using these data structures maybe some one or two examples i will provide sir first example sir if you see any music players if you see any music player like uh, sir maybe spotify okay spotify sir jio saavn okay something like this we have and even prime prime music is there etc sir we have so many music players are there okay and if you see these music players in that there is one segment is there like uh, how i can able to watch the songs sir when one song is playing if i want to get the next song okay if i want to get the next song sir there you have to use some special navigations like how to play next song sir how to go to previous song like that we have some navigations will be there okay that navigation sir we can implement by using which data structure linked list data structure because in the linked list data structure you can move from one song to another song i mean one one particular segment to another frame 
so from second frame to third frame also we can from third frame to fourth frame also we can okay that is possible second sir if i want to come to the previous is there any possibility yes in the music players i think you have seen sir moving from first song to second song is allowed and moving from second song to first song is also allowed okay that also we can do then sir sometimes suppose if you are in driving sir you have played one album it is around 20 minutes i want to repeat these songs continuously sir you can put it in a loop or not yes loop means what when you are taking the last song after completion of that song automatically that song will be redirected to the first song okay this is called as circular linked list sir all these concepts are implemented by using this linked list we have four types of linked lists are there what is the first one single linked list what is the second one double linked list what is the third one circular single linked list what is the fourth one circular double linked list like this we have different types of linked lists are there next sir spam emails maybe you have seen these whenever you are getting a spam mail okay for example uh, sir i have one uh, company is there or i have registered for one youtube channel sir continuously our youtube people or that company people are keep on triggering the messages regarding the notifications so i want to stop that how you can able to do maybe for one or two times or maybe for four or five times if you move that particular mail from your inbox to spam what will happen sir at the fourth time or fifth time when you have received the mail automatically it will jump to the spam you are not required to so how they have prepared algorithms for this so for that we have one string data structure is there by using that string data structure in that regular expressions if your email the senders receive email we are, we are going to fetch if it contains any one of this word then better to move that particular mail into spam like that we have for this we are using sir string data structure maybe you have heard about this and even sir if i want to book the tickets online sir movie ticket management or booking system online movie tickets if you want to purchase sir we have so many apps right something like book my show app is there sir how this app is working based on which data structure it is working based on arrays okay like suppose if you take book my show application sir this is the theater screen and here we have some tickets i mean seats are there in this style sir if you want to select you have to select the seats okay these are nothing but seats so i think this is the first row this is the second row uh, i think these labels just for your understanding i am taking i think these labels are uh, uh, named with a b c d something like this and these are 1 2 3 4 5 something like this sir if i want to select this particular seat then you are going to touch this seat that's all but automatically in the background what will happen in which row it is in b row in which column it is for b4 is the address of this particular seat sir maybe in my programming point of view i have taken this b as a 2 sir 2 4 array of 2 4 is nothing but the seat yes it is reserved so empty means we are going to take a zero sir if it is a filled means i will take one if you take is equal to one next person if if they are trying to open this this seat will be filled with some colors have you observed sir how you can able to implement all these things on the background there is one data structure is there called arrays by using this it is implemented okay like this we have sir now can you please confirm do you have any doubts up to this any doubts up to this just whatever basics some some examples whatever i covered so do you have any doubts up to this yes please feel free to ask 
how many days in a week and how many hours will be there so first two weeks or first one week you can expect only 35 or 40 minutes class okay so 30 35 40 45 like that you can expect for first week from the coming week onwards once if the demo classes and the registrations got completed then every day one hour class will be there okay and the second uh, per week we are going to take only five classes monday to friday class will be there but rarely we will spend on saturdays and sundays that a prior intimation will be given for you people because some concepts will be there i need to take uh, by combining all the batches okay so there we are going to take one or two sundays a special class will be there sir that i will inform you in advance okay any doubts sir i have completed a logic based programming it will be helpful yeah programming knowledge if you have it will be fine but uh, complete contracts sir here we are going to talk about the concepts sir i request everyone to please respond clear up to this yes so let me take two more applications sir sir maybe i want to credit so maybe assume uh, i want to credit some amount some 10000 amount i want to credit to my bank account what is the maximum size of batch it depends sir they based on the registration sir already 30 to 40 members registered for 5 o'clock batch and the class is going on so in this batch if at least 10 or 20 members joined so that batch will have 50 members okay but a majority of the students are going to watch the videos because some people may working some people are students like that they have sir next example sir please wait i will clarify all your doubts later sir i want to credit some amount to my bank account sir i went for bank for crediting the amount so they asked me to take a slip and you have to fill that instructions whatever they have given and we need to wait sir okay sir that waiting will be there if i want to credit some amount in my account through bank sir in the bank they are going to ask you to wait in a queue queue means what some people will be there the person who came first he will get highest priority he will get more chances so there there is one data structure is there called a queue data structure we are going to implement that queue data structure also in our applications just i am telling so where we are going to use this queue okay sir even if you are going to anywhere suppose you have moved to shopping complex sir you need to finish your shopping and you need to make a payment for them sir what you have to do in that cash counter every person is taking your products and they are going to scan and they are preparing the bill right suppose if more than 3 or 4 members are there automatically you people are going to form in a queue so knowingly or unknowingly you are following the data structures concept okay especially if ladies are there in this session suppose consider so you have bangles right so you are going to wear the bangles to your hand sir on what basis you are taking is nothing but stack data structure okay sir how how it is suppose consider this is your hand you can wear the bangle only from one side is it possible to insert from this side no is it possible to remove from this side no. only one side insertion and one side remove that means the bangle which you have inserted at last will be the bangle that you are taking the first right so that you don't know maybe internally that data structure we are using okay just a second yeah like this we have next term 
sir have you observed google maps are there in the google maps also sir internally for location identification okay for location identification and uh, paths for this they are using one data structure which is nothing but a graph okay by using that graph data structure only sir yesterday we have traveled from chennai to my native place sir actual route is different but when i am opening the google map it is showing some different path okay for almost uh, um 60 to 70 kilometers sir it is showing a different path and when i when i use this particular path okay and in that 10 kilometers is almost uh, village village route sir we got confusion that really we are missing the route or something like that but uh, when compared with the regular route so within less time we reached our destination means what the path is correct so but instead of highway it is taking some shortest paths near to that and it is giving the result sir how it is going to work based on this data structure only but we don't know maybe some people may know but some people may don't sir if you select a source and a de destination already they have created the paths in the database it will select and it will find out the shortest distance by calculating the kilometers all these things it will select the shortest paths okay so these are nothing but some of the applications what we have okay so hope you people got very clear clarity can you please confirm is the real time examples for these data structures are clear for you people right sir so that's all about uh, today's session the rest of the things we are going to continue in our upcoming class sir okay next things we are going to complete in our upcoming classes okay